A wound stripe would be a single uh, brass line to show that you were wounded. And if you're wounded again, then you get additional stripes. And the authorization to actually wear that is that you had to be an official casualty. This wound stripe is a part of the vast history of this uniform. It was worn by Major A.B. Stafford, who was a local businessman and Freemason in Lethbridge. He became the battery commander of the 39th Battery, which was the second artillery unit during the First World War, based out of Lethbridge. Having an artifact by itself means nothing. It, all these artifacts, just look at them, means nothing other than it is a uniform of some kind. How do we get that story to bring this artifact to life? And that's what this tunic, amongst all these other artifacts within the Galt collection, all need to come to life in some way, shape or form. The uniform was discovered in an area within the Yates Theatre. Our costume mistress, Mary Lynn Muley, uh, contacted the Galt to, in order to see if um, they wanted any of those items because there were some uh, trunks and uh, again, a number of uniforms uh, and those kinds of items. And so uh, thankfully, uh, Kevin came and, uh, and removed a number, as I think as he had mentioned, 107 items um, to go through. Stafford fought in the Battle of Vimy Ridge in 1917 and was wounded. He died one day later. The Galt Museum and Archives recently transferred over the title and ownership of the uniform in the last three weeks. Now that it is part of the Galt's permanent collection, um, the next step is for us to catalog it um, and photograph it and label it, etc., etc., in order that then it can be uh, viewed as part of our database. So that would be the next steps that are coming up. The Galt houses 750 items related to military service, and you can view the collection online by visiting collections.galtmuseum.com. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.